Hi everyone, Ian from Q-Tips. Uh, today I wanted to show you a tool called XF Tools, and it is an application that allows you to extract metadata from files. And I'm going to use it to extract the information necessary to locate photographs geographically. So I want to be able to extract the data that uh, gets tagged or uh, is in the metadata of a photograph. So now it's important to know that this will only work if the location data for your imagery is turned on for your photo, uh, for your camera or either your, your um, cell phone. So you, you need to turn that on yourself. But I'll just show you um, exactly what it looks like um, if it is turned on. So I've got two photographs here. And if I open, uh, right click and I go to properties, then I can have a look at the, the details for this photograph. And these are all the tags. Now this is all the metadata for that image. So you've got the size information, the dots per inch, for instance. And then one of the tags here will be GPS data. So we've got latitude, longitude, as well as altitude. Now I don't necessarily trust the altitude. It's fairly accurate, but it's not 100%. But you know, if, if you're not uh, entirely uh, worried about the accuracy of altitude, you can use this altitude as well. And then there are some other metadata tags here. Okay, so let me show you how to install that uh, that tool first of all. So what you'll need to do is search for it. So I'm going to open up a browser. And then I want to search for XF, XF tool. And uh, you need to open the, the xftool.org website. And then what we are going to do is we are going to extract the latest one. So I'm using Windows. So, and this example is for Windows. So we're going to extract this one. I'm going to click on that to download it. And it shouldn't take too long because it's actually quite a small tool. So let's, uh, let's go and find that one on our drive. Okay, so it's downloads. And here it is here. So I'm going to extract it. So I'm just going to right click and extract to here. And here it is here. Right, so next thing I want to do is I want to paste this into a folder in my programs file, program files. So I'm going to cut this tool out of here, then go to my program files on my C drive, and I'm going to create a new folder called XF, XF tool. Okay, and then I'm going to paste it in there. All right, and then I'm just going to change the name just to rename it to remove this. It doesn't work unless it's got this name. So we've got that name there. Okay, so now it's in a folder in the um, program files. Now I just want to make sure that it will run from, from any directory. So um, usually what you would do is you'd paste this application into the directory of your images, but that would mean duplicating this uh, tool every time you want to use it. And this is a far better way to do it. So what I'm going to do now is just go to uh, run. There we go. And then I want to uh, go to System Properties Advanced. So I'm going to say OK. And then I'm going to go to Advanced and Environment Variables. And then I want to select Path under System Variables. And I'm going to say Edit. And then I want to put the new path name in there. So I want to, first of all, whoop, let's just go back there. I'm going to copy this address. Okay, so I'm copying the address for C drive program files XF tools. Go back in here and I'm going to paste, or well, I'm going to create a new one and then just a control V to paste it and then say OK. And this, just to make sure that it's still there, here we go, we've got this new tool. So now we should be able to run that from the command line um, in Windows. So we can say OK, OK, and I'll close that uh, down as well, and I'm going to close that too. OK, so let's see if it's working. I'm going to run uh, the command line, command prompt, and it always opens up on my second screen, so here it is, and then type in XF tool and see if it runs and returns information for XF tool and it has. Okay, so that looks good. Okay, so that is working. So I'm gonna close that down 
And now I want to go to my folder that has my images in it, which was a external drive called Galaxy underscore A5. Um, it's important to, to not have spaces in your um, folder names. That can be a problem with the command line running that DOS prompt. So let's just make sure we don't have spaces there. Okay, so that underscore should be make, make sure mine works okay. Okay, so now I want to go to the command line. So what you can do is you go to your folder and then just select the location and just type in CMD and that will open up the, the DOS prompt for that folder. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so next step is we want to type in EXIF tool. Okay, and then now we want to extract the information, those tag, call those tags. So I'm going to, I'm not going to extract all the information for all the tags. I just want to extract the file name. I want to extract the GPS longitude and GPS. Oops, no space. Latitude, the altitude will try. The altitude. And now what we can do is we, we, we want to um, extract this into a CSV. So we are going to have it as a, a CSV. And then just a, oops, just a couple other little commands. I don't know what all of these do. I know what this one does. Uh, this one makes sure that your your uh, values come through at decimal degrees. So make sure that it is minus n. And now we want to have the output location. So we can go back and copy the output location. So we're going to copy the address and just paste it in here. Okay, there we go. And now an actual output file. So we'll call it out, output.csv. And as long as I've got everything typed out correctly, that should work. So let's type enter. And there we go. Let's have a look. There we've got an output CSV. Let's open up that CSV. And there we go. We've got the metadata tags that we typed out. So there's the, the name. It, it automatically puts the source in as well, which, which is quite useful. And then longitude and latitude. These ones did not have altitude, so oh, that's because I didn't spell it correctly. So I didn't spell that tag correctly, that's why it hasn't been returned. But anyway, I'm, I'm not worried about those. So as long as you spell that correctly, it'll come through as well. And then this last one we don't need. Okay, so that was returning the value for the CSV. Um, because the, the XF tool goes through and looks at all the files and returns the metadata for those files. Okay, so I've just deleted those and I'm going to click on save and let's see how we can now view this in QGIS. So here we go. Let's go open up a, a session of QGIS. And you've done your job, so I can close you. Let's open up QGIS. There we go. So we're going to open up a new session. We want a, a completely blank project. And I'm going to add that CSV to this project. Okay, so let's see what we can do. So we go to Data Source Manager, and then we need to select the Delimited Text option and navigate to that folder. So it is C Drive Galaxy. There we go. Output CSV, and then uh, longitude, latitude. Yes, that's fine. This all looks good. So let's see if that adds correctly. Let's click Add and Close. It could be correct and uh, let's change this icon slightly so i'm going to just make the symbology slightly different uh, something we can see let's make it uh, an orange dot so apply and okay and then just turn on our background imagery so we can just make sure we are in the right place okay that looks like we're in the right place okay so that's that's quite cool but now what we can do is we can actually um, use those images to open up in a form Okay, that's quite a nice little function. So let's first of all save this project. Save as. I'm going to put it in that folder. Uh, X5, and let's just call it project. 
and save. All right, so now what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to click on any of these features and have the option where the image loads. So currently it just it just shows the file name. but I want the, the actual image to load. So that's quite easy to do. I'm going to right click on the output um, CSV layer. I need to go to properties. And then I want to choose the attributes form. And then I'm going to choose First we can go, let's go to auto generate drag and drop designer select file name now this is going to be the photograph of the of the actual uh or the actual photograph we'll get that to open and then the widget type needs to be attachment and then the uh, it's going to be the path name selected needs to be relative to project path okay now the reason i've chosen relative to project path is because the project now and the images are in the same parent folder Okay, so that's why I've chosen that option. And then just change the the type to image. And that should work. So now we can say OK. All right, so now when we click, let's zoom into one of these images first of all. Make sure it is in the right place. Okay, now that looks like it's in the right place to within about five meters probably. Let's open it up and see. So we can choose our little identify features icon. Click on our feature. And then select the the uh, folder, uh, the the form, and there's our image. So now it's linking directly to that image. Okay, and this other stuff's coming through as well. That looks great. Okay, let's go have a look at the other one. That one. Let's see if that one actually looks correct. Okay, so there we go. So we've got uh, a couple images. That one doesn't look like it's in the right place. So, so it does depend on the accuracy of your phone at the time. Um, so if you're standing too close to a building or you've just whipped out your phone and it hasn't had an opportunity to uh, be located by the satellites, you can get some um, coordinate errors. But this one's pretty good and is linking to the photograph. So it's a, it's a great way for you to extract the meta tags, the GPS meta tags from a photograph. And uh, if you've got multiple photographs, you can run that EXIF tool and uh, create an output CSV for uh, you know hundreds of images using the uh, the extracting technique that I've just showed you here. So hopefully that is a useful tool to you. I'd be interested to see if you've uh, managed to find it useful. Anyway, good luck with that. Cheers.